my hair. This is what I call to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Andre. I'm a fashion, lifestyle, beauty blogger on, on Instagram. My handle is just like style. Go ahead and follow me there. Um, also, if, if you're new to my channel, please remember to click the little button there, subscribe, click the bell too, to make sure that you're updated when I have new videos out. So that you won't miss a thing. Okay. Alright, so a little bit about me. I am 52 years old, going on 52. I love makeup. I also love fashion. I love fashion. I love, I love that. But I've gotten into makeup now um, for the past two years. Um, just watching the YouTubers doing their thing got me so into it. But I created this channel because I wanna, this is my happy place and I know that during this stage of life as we go through, there are, there's so much things going on in this season of life that we, for me, I wasn't prepared for. We talk about inflammation, you know, getting these pains and aches, you get up in the morning, you feel like you don't even want to get out of bed, kind of a thing. So makeup and fashion has become just really that place where i can just apart from my relationship with god and praying and you know being around my sisters and stuff you know this is where i find the most comfort um, i'm not a an, uh what do you call it now an expert here i'm just playing with makeup i try i'll try new ones and make you see how it works for me and if you like it you know then you can go ahead and try it but this is a place where I want to just be able to be creative and just talk about life and um, what I'm going to like even right now I feel like I'm being recreated God has been a journey I'm just recreating myself because never in my wildest dream did I think I would be here at 52 years old doing this sitting here putting on makeup and just interacting with people over <laughs> the technology can you believe it i i didn't see this coming so i just want this to be um somewhere you can come and just watch me do my thing and feel like it make i say probably give you that also that relaxing feeling as well so today i'm just doing a little bit of um then out with some because i'm i mainly use drugstore brands because i can't afford the iron brands so i do drugstore brands and they work for me as well so as i go along i'll be showing you what i'm using and we can you know, and have a little we have a little chat and converse while i'm doing my thing i've already prepped my face i usually put on when i wash my face i use a toner and then i use moisturizer if i'm going out for the day i use some sunscreen as well um but right now um, i haven't put on i put on some moisturizer already and toned my face so i need to put on some primer the primer that i love to use is this milan oh this thing is just wet and wild where's my melani no here it is oh, my melani prime and correct this one is so good it feels so good on the skin i just love it so i'll go ahead and i'll put the lip this it feels so so good, so good. I have to use some more. Sometimes I keep going because it feels so good. Rubbing it on my face, it's, it just feels like nothing. It going on, it feels so good. Okay, so. I prime. I usually go in with um, my contour first. So, and I use the Maybelline 
este no sé pues qué expreso Oh yes, um, about me, I, I, I currently live um, here in Houston, I live with my daughter, I stay with my daughter until I can get my, I can get a good job, I don't know, I have a part time job, and I just want to wait until I can get something, and while I do this, I usually pat the skin, to the skin yeah I'm, I'm staying with my daughter and my grandkids and her husband for the time being until I get a full time job and I'm able to settle in on my own be able to pay my bills I'm in debt as well I have credit cards debt that I need to clear so I'm trying to, you know, take care of stuff like that. So it's it's not easy because when you make mistakes in life, you um you it just discourages you sometimes, you know, because at 52 I feel like I should be married with my husband since the kids are grown. Because I have two kids, yes, and my daughter and my son. My son lives on his own too. I'm here in Houston as well, so I'm a little for that. I still have them around me. Um, yeah, you make those mistakes. I, I thought I would be, you know, just living up and looking forward to retirement. And here I am, like, pretty much starting over. You know, it's, it's tough sometimes, mental on the brain. What a contrary to do my nose as well. A little bit. Not that nothing is wrong with my nose because I know that my nose is I have a little but I I always do a little bit um on the nose too. So I usually just go in a little bit here. And I do the same. Little, I just use a little bit here to carve out, to chisel out that nose of mine. <laughs> uh, I'm getting a little bit straighter than it is. Uh, yeah, so I I enjoy doing this. Because it also helps me when I, you know, I, I look and I say, oh, you know, I can do this. I normally I would think, okay, I'll go get a get makeup done. Uh, that's the life that I wanted to live. Go get my nails done, get my hair done. If my hair, I'm the one who did it. The braids, the knotless braids. I just look at the guys there on YouTube. There's this girl beauty general. I watch her channel and. I just did my not lip braids myself and it's like I'm, I'm like man look at that you know so and I'm excited about that because you know it makes me see that you know I I can do stuff on my own you know I'm recreating myself I'm doing things you know for me and that and it, may, it brings me joy you know I'm using, I'm going in with foundation now and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me. I love this. This foundation, it really, let me use a sponge. It, I like how it comes out on my skin. But everybody raves. This is one of the best drugstore foundation out there everybody raised about Maybelline fit me and I and I love it too 
I do love it. Yeah, so then I use a sponge. Sometimes I use a, a brush as well, but um, I'm using a sponge and different the eco tools blending sponge. I love it, it's so soft. Very soft. And next, put it on, on my skin. So I blend this in. I really blend this in. Yeah, that's off my hand. The only thing I hate with this foundation is that it doesn't come with a spot where you can just easily because I could just spread this on my face instead of using it on putting it on my the back of my hand. I have an a container that I use sometimes if it's an eco tool that I can use to mix well, but sometimes I pour it and I pour too much. So I just put a little bit on the back of my hand. Um, well, I think I need a little bit more. I think I need a little bit more. This is almost finished though. So I've had this for a little bit. And I mainly use it. Yeah, um, as I say, with me, yeah. Um, but I love doing makeup. I love putting on makeup. It just feels really, it makes me feel so good when I'm doing it. Especially when I, when I look and I see how it comes out, I'm like, man, it's amazing. I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would be doing this, you know? And here I am. Because I've always more loved fashion. I've always fashion into fashion when I was working. I used to work um, with Bank of America as well as a business specialist, a business consultant, I should say. Um, they let me go claiming that I wasn't meeting my goals, even though they sent me a check after they let me go for um, incentives that I made. But it's all good. Um, I know they wanted to get um, bilingual people into their organization that could and i was i'm not bilingual so it's all good um but it's fun working there it was fun working there learned a lot um yeah and i like i said working in the copper world you know you you know dressing up and stuff i love that you know i love, love doing that no, I have another creative side of doing makeup. So I'm tapping into that side. I mean, no. Alright, so I go with concealer. Um, usually I don't do a lot. Put a little bit here and here. And then I put a little bit in here just to brighten up my forehead and here where I sweat a lot. So I don't do that. Um, and then I will go in with yeah I usually do this sometimes with the concealer on my eyes and just pat it in that concealer is the um the elf hydrating come on concealer wow this one looks like i i put too much and then say like i get a little off with my sponge mm. 
sometimes not like when it's all so old aluminium and I have this on this side see if I can get this one out here all right where did it get that off hello I usually put that on my over my eyes as well. To prep for my eyeshadow. So I'm going on. So I blend that out over my eyes. As I say, I'm no expert. I just do my own thing. I sometimes follow some of the stuff that they do. Some of the, the experts there here on YouTube, like Jackie. I watch Jackie a lot. I watch Jackie Aina a lot. I love, I love her thing. I love how she does. I love her channel. She's an inspiration. And she's so funny, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I do that and then I go in with um some set loose powder and I use the Laura Mercier. This powder is so good. So so good. It's like really I'm usually going with this brush sometimes I'm going with sometimes I use a sponge as well but I'm using a brush this time and then I usually just press it into the under eye here and this one is the deep dark medium yeah deep dark you can see see I have lines and I don't when I use it I don't see it I don't see the lines so this is I usually put a little bit over here too and then also um, get on my face to kind of set the foundation Okay. Alright, so we're gonna do some eyes now. What am I gonna use on my eyes though? I said I was gonna use this wet and wild palette. These colors. Since it's fall and it has some fall colors, I'm just gonna try play with some of these. So I'm gonna go in with this this dark, this light brown sheen as my transition color I just this that over my brow my brow bone I 
and then I'm gonna go in with this burgundy over my Yes, so um, as I was saying, yeah, I am I um, here trying to get my feet back on the leaf, <laughs> so to speak. Um, you know, to pretty much starting, it's like starting life all over again. It's tough sometimes because you think at 52 that you know you'll be. I'll be ready and uh, well not ready but you know at least halfway through looking to looking forward to retirement and that's not the case so but it's all I just have to live with it because that's my my mistake my bad my my error in life that I have to live with Right, I'm gonna use another brush and I'm gonna go in with um, which one should I go with? Yeah, this second one. I'm gonna go in with this. This um looks like cinnamon. Looks like cinnamon. It's like I'm mixing all the fall colors together. You know what I forget? Although I can do it after, I usually put, <laughs> I usually do um, my. bronzer after I put my foundation on the powder and I forget but I can do it after my 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 eyes my eyes okay so I'm gonna go in now with this like like an um sheen I'm gonna go in. I don't know, this is like a beige, coldish beige ish thing. And I'm just gonna use my finger and put it on my over my middle right here. Oh, I like, I like, I like. I like. Yeah. Okay. I think I like that. Alright, so I'm gonna just use a clean brush. And I haven't used it before. And just go over everything to kind of clean here okay here we go and usually I try to get a little down here in my between my eyes right there I use a smaller brush 
There you go. All righty, that's the eyes. That's the eyes, guys. That's the eyes. All right, so I'm gonna go in with some bronzer now. This is the sleek. It's a sleek. Look at this. Sleek block. Yeah. This is, this is, I think I bought this in, I think in Ross. Yeah, I think. What are they colors? And it has a black, uh, oh lord. I'm like, not remembering stuff. That's another part of the aging process too. You just don't remember things. Oh, but this is a blush. That's what I was trying to remember, blush. Gosh. Oh. So I use a bronzer just to warm up the face. I use a warm up my face. I think that's enough and then I'm gonna add a little bit of blush too I'm not, a, not so much of a blush person but I'm gonna do a little right on my face right right on the face there you go my brows i need to do my brows my brows is not anything i don't usually do a lot with my brows i just normally use my elf pencil and just shape that up And then sometimes to get it like to get it a little bit darker I'd go in with a pencil a dark black pencil and just comb that through there you go so that's my brows so i need to do my put on some mascara you now i'll put some mascara on and this is the next what's the eye this is a good mascara it makes your lashes long look a little longer kind of extend them somewhat Ooh, I 
always stick my eyes with the mascara. I always do that. Oh, it's funny. So funny. Alright, and I'm gonna use this iron ore. And that's usually I use this magnet a magnetic lash eyeliner to put on. The falsies and my falsies is usually I cut them in half. I don't put on a full. I just like when it looks that way so let me and I'm gonna put put them on I don't usually really like to put my lashes on camera but I'm gonna try There you go. Make a mess of my eyes. That is why I don't like to use. Alright, fix it, guys. Fix it. There. Okay. So I use but I use this cover girl. Mascara on the falsies. Okay. Okay, guys, what am I missing? My lips. Okay. So, for my lips, I think I'm gonna put on this elf. A new elf. Also, I put line my the bottom of my put some eyeliner at the bottom of my eyes and my waterline. Put, I'm gonna do use the, the health new 
Let's tak ada hawa nak. Nah, lagi ke? Ha. Works with its look. Okay, and then I'm gonna put on. Oh, I didn't put any eyeliner. Why did I put it in front of my cheeks? Huh? Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna use this beige. Um, palette that has the eye eyeliner in there as well and I am going to spray my brush and use which one should I go with I'm gonna go with this one that looks a little gold real gold all right so I'm gonna do just do that and This is nice. Then I'll put a little bit down here on my nose. And then a little on my cubicle right here. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I think that's my look. And I'm gonna some setting spray. You now I use the stay mat from Rimmel. and just press it into the skin okay guys I'm gonna go off camera and put on some put on my top and come and show you the finished look okay Yes, guys, I'm back. Here's the finished look. Um, everything. Hope you like it. So, please subscribe to my channel. Remember, click the notification bell. I'll be uploading um, weekly. I, I'm I'm gonna shoot for one, um, one per week. Um, if not, I'll try two. But um, for now, I'm gonna. I set myself a goal for at least to come out once um, per week um, on one weekday. Um, I'm not even sure which day to choose yet. Um, I'll probably say stick with maybe say Tuesday. Yeah, I'll stick with Tuesday. I'll go with Tuesday for right now. Um, but please remember, go to my. Take a look at my Instagram, the Just Annie Style, um, where I feature my looks, um, my fashion. Um, and then here, please um, subscribe to my channel if you love what you're seeing. Um, we're here to just have fun. Um, like I say, I'm not an expert. I'm here just learning, um, you know, just doing things as a 50, over 50 woman um really um recreating herself um in this life which is beyond we're here to create and recreate um we're not and to have fun right um make something a happy place for you um this is my happy place and i hope that i inspire you to also do something that you you love and make it your happy place so that because the the mental um health your mental health has a lot a lot to do with your whole life you know um how you feel how you look and if you can find something that makes you happy do it do it even if you are not an expert or 
even if you 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 don't you're not sure what you're doing but you just love it just go ahead do it it's practice do it every day practice 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 until it becomes perfect right um that's what i'm trying to do you know to practice 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 this makeup thing until you know it becomes a part of me and i love it because then i see the changes you know so thank you guys for being here i really appreciate just spending the time with you guys i hope that you remember please click that little click the red the red that red button click it to subscribe okay and tell your friends and family as well share and come on over so we can have some fun all right i love you guys also at the end of this i'm gonna be sharing some of my fashion you know just to end this little session so take it I'm going to write it to know it so you guys love it and want to get it. You can blink.